Did you know that over 30% of households in the United States are single-person homes? Surprising, isn't it? This mirrors a societal shift worldwide. Living alone, once viewed as social isolation, is now a symbol of independence and self-sufficiency. It's your space, your time, your life, but it's not without challenges. Loneliness can be a frequent companion of solitude. Increased responsibility, safety concerns, and financial burdens are part of the package, yet Living alone can be a journey of self-discovery, resilience, and independence. It's about joy in your own company and reaching out when needed. Remember, even in solitude, we are never truly alone. But what does it really mean to be living alone? It means embracing the challenges, celebrating the triumphs, and most importantly, discovering the true essence of your own company. Living alone can be a liberating experience, offering freedom and independence. It's a kingdom of one. No more wrestling over the TV remote or managing a roommate's kitchen antics. But this liberty comes with responsibilities. Suddenly, you're the head of household chores and monthly expenses. The silence of solitude can sometimes echo with loneliness. Yet it's about finding equilibrium. Embrace the liberty, but also recognize the trials. It's all part of the journey. As with all things, living alone has its own set of trials and tribulations. Living alone is not always as glamorous as it seems. True, it exudes freedom and independence, yet it's accompanied by challenges. Loneliness is the first hurdle. As social creatures, living in solitude can feel isolating, making even introverts crave companionship. Responsibilities become solely yours. From household chores to bill payments, everything rests on your shoulders. Being sick and alone can be tough when there's no one around to aid you. Dealing with life's fluctuations without support can be grueling. Financial burdens also mount. Rent, utilities, groceries. These are draining without a cost-sharing partner. Safety is another concern. Living solo makes you susceptible to threats with no backup. Self-motivation becomes a struggle too. In the absence of an accountability partner, bad habits can sneak in. These hurdles might seem intimidating, but they're conquerable. The journey of living alone teaches resilience, self-reliance, and the importance of self-care. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. After all, even the most independent among us can't do everything alone. Let's dive deeper into the specific challenges faced by those who live alone. To start, safety is a major concern. There's one to assist during emergencies like a break-in or issue. Next, the financial strain of living alone can be significant. All expenses, including rent, groceries, and utilities, fall solely on you. Third, managing household duties is another challenge. From repairs to cooking, the responsibility rests entirely on you. Fourth, living alone can sometimes feel isolating, resulting in feelings of loneliness. Fifth, the lack of immediate emotional support during tough days is a struggle. Sixth, health hazards go unnoticed without someone around. Seventh, self-discipline becomes crucial for maintaining chores, healthy eating, and a regular sleep schedule. Eighth, the fear of missing out or FOMO can sometimes feel overwhelming. Ninth, self-reliance takes on a new meaning as all decisions have to be made alone. Finally, home security is solely your responsibility. These challenges may seem, but they can be overcome. There's a certain strength and resilience that comes from facing these hurdles and finding your own solutions. So let's continue exploring how to navigate these challenges and make your solo living journey a period of self-discovery and empowerment. The most significant challenge faced by those living alone is, without a doubt, the sense of isolation and loneliness. It's more about not having someone to share life's ups and downs with than actually being solitary. The feeling of loneliness can be quite intense and unexpected, catching you off guard when the world goes silent and you're left alone with your thoughts. It can also sneak in when you're among people but still feel alone. It's a persistent companion, symbolizing that something is missing. But here's the fact, solitude doesn't equate to loneliness. It's a considerable challenge, but it's not unbeatable. The initial step is accepting it. Understand that feeling lonely is natural and perfectly normal. Then take active measures to fight loneliness. Connect with friends and family, meet up for a coffee, join interest groups or take up a use digital tools like video calls, social media and online groups to feel more connected. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek professional help if you're battling feelings of loneliness. A mental health expert can provide you with the necessary tools and strategies to manage loneliness, enhancing your overall well-being. Remember, living alone is a journey, not a destination. 
It's about finding your own path, embracing your independence, and learning to enjoy your own company. And in time, you might just find living alone can be a truly liberating and empowering experience. Living alone is a journey of self-discovery and independence. Today, we explore this solitary adventure, studying its various merits and trials. It's a path of empowerment, where you dictate your own rhythm, establish your own rules, and create your unique way of life. However, it's also a path littered with challenges, from managing all household duties to bearing financial burdens and dealing with solitude's emotional strain. But these obstacles are not unconquerable. They can be tackled with resilience, ingenuity, and a sprinkle of self-love. Prioritize self-care from unwinding to nourishing yourself physically and mentally. For assistance when necessary, whether from a friend, a relative, or a professional aid. Remember, living alone does not mean being alone. This journey is yours, yet you're not meant to traverse it devoid of support. Your experiences matter to us. As we conclude our discussion, we reflect on today's topics, solitude, independence, and living alone's unseen challenges. We've painted a picture of what living alone is like, but it's personal experiences that encapsulate its essence. Statistics and observations give us an understanding, but it's individual experiences that add color, depth, and nuance. That's where you come in. We've shared insights and advice. Now we want to hear from you, your experiences, your challenges, your triumphs, your moments of despair and hope. Each brings a unique perspective, a story that could provide comfort or inspiration to someone else. As the saying goes, experience is the best teacher. We can learn from others' wisdom, mistakes, victories. That's what we're aiming for. We invite you to share your experiences of living alone in the comments. No detail is too small, no story too insignificant. And as you share, engage with others. Respond to their comments, offer support. We're in this journey together and there's much we can learn from each other. Explore more of our channel, access videos on independent living, providing insights, advice, and support. Find practical tips, financial advice, or emotional support. Remember, no right or wrong way to live alone. Your journey is unique, shaped by your circumstances, preferences. Discover what works best for you, makes you feel comfortable, secure, happy. Take care of yourself, physically and emotionally. Living alone can be challenging but rewarding, helping you discover your strengths, resilience, independence. Know that you're not alone. We're here with you. Share your experiences. Explore our channel. Engage with the community because your voice matters. Your experiences matter. Remember, there's strength in sharing and learning from each other.